I want to eat your pancreas, the complete manga collection. So, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this book, I was like, that is easily one of the strangest titles I've ever read for a manga. That just, it was so strange, and I'm like, what possibly, possibly can this book even be about? And so, you can tell it looks like it's going to be one of those emotional stories just by kind of looking at the book. It just seems like it's going to be one of those types of stories. Um, and so, let's talk about it for a minute. So, <laughs> I think the easiest way to give you a quick overview of the book without me just rambling over it is just to read the description in the back. So it's a bittersweet romance story, of course, they all are. In a deeply moving and first-person story, an introverted high school boy finds his classmate's diary and learns her biggest secret. Sakura is dying from a pancreatic disease, and now he is the only person outside of her family to know the truth. The last thing the boy wants is to be her friend, but Sakura's cheerful demeanor and their shared secret draws them together in a heartbreaking tale of friendship and morality. And so, when I first started reading the book, um, I was expecting it to be like really super emotional through all the way through. But like when I was kind of just reading it, it was such a tame book in the beginning that I was like, it's not really much going on. I wasn't super drawn in. The character seemed, um, I shouldn't say plain, but the main protagonist, the boy, which is this really interesting running gag all the way through the book of when they first meet, he doesn't want her to write down, she doesn't want, I got that backwards, he doesn't want her to write down her name in her notebook, in her diary. So she's like, okay, so the whole book, you don't know what his name is, because whenever it says his name, it, it blacks it out, or she doesn't actually use his name, she calls him something else. Um, and so that's an interesting note through the whole book that really ties in really well at the end of the book as well. And so, our boy protagonist, he's very introverted, um, very separate from everyone at school, from a whole bunch of people, and to the point of being like, slightly, I guess you could say, detrimental to him, um, because it's, some people are, are just introverted and are really happy doing whatever they're doing, um, but he was at kind of like to the extreme degree where he probably needed a little bit of a nudge or a change in some direction in his life. Um, and so he meets this girl and she's super over the top um, and he really wants nothing to do with her at first. But she's so over the top that she just kind of drags him around and makes him do a whole bunch of stuff. And so I was like, oh, you know, okay, so you're just going to be your typical, you know, extroverted person, make the introverted person do something and become friends. Um, but the beats of the book are way deeper than that. Um, over the course of the story, and it's a really gradual, natural shift um, that both characters have, um, but especially you see it from the perspective of the male character. And um, he... You can tell that he starts to be bothered by the fact that this person that he's maybe getting a little closer to is, well, wait a minute, she's she's gonna die. <laughs> like, she's dying, like, right now. Um, and so that starts to become not a problem throughout the book, because obviously it's already an issue uh, that she's gonna die. But it starts to um, really develop both of their characters more and more. So I'll wrap up my thoughts on the book as a whole in this non-spoiler section right here. Um, because in my head I was just not going to talk about spoilers, but I don't really know how to with this book. And so if you're looking for a really uh, like heart-wrenching emotional story that you can get in like one book, uh, this is absolutely for you. The, um, the, the unexpected things that happen in this story caught me so off guard and made this... It brought it from just being like your kind of everyday emotional... Um, manga between two high schoolers and it, it brought it up a notch like absolutely up a notch um, to the point where like the, end, the ending like shocked me a little bit um, so it was, it was crazy and so yeah if you want to read it I absolutely recommend it 
Um, but I'm going to move into a bit of a spoiler section just for the people who don't think they're ever going to read it, just so, you know, I can talk about the book a little bit more. Bam! We're in spoiler section. Spoilers happening now. So the book goes on, and they start to get really close, but you don't really know if it's in a romantic way or not. It, it could or couldn't be, and that is to the story's benefit, um, in all honesty. And so she's getting sick, you think she's going to be getting closer to dying, and the two characters are learning so much from each other, you have no idea. There is a running gag in the book about how I want to eat your pancreas is a really special line between the two of them. And you get to a point where he really finally cares about somebody, and it's like, it's like really beautiful Like when you find out that you know he really cares about her. Um, and so they're going to go on a date after she gets to the hospital, because she's been in the hospital for a long time, um, ne nearing the end of the book. And so he goes to the date, and they're texting back and forth, um, and they're having a really important conversation. Um, and he, she wants to know like, one thing he'd say to her, and so he actually tells her in this text, you know, I want to eat your pancreas. And so you end up finding out that, that was a really special line, but you end up finding out because you read her diary again because she gets mugged and killed on the way to their date. And so it was, it's such a mind-blowing thing, the way, I mean, it was so smart, the way the book does it, because the book constantly is telling you she's dying, she has a disease, and at some point she's going to die. But it flips that script on you, but while still having her die. And so... It shows you that you can die at any time and anything can happen to you. And it was such an interesting way of showing that. I mean, it was heartbreaking because, you know, this high school girl is just going on a date and she gets jumped in an alley and killed. And it's it's such a weird, awful thing to think. Like, the, the really happy-go-lucky, bubbly character you have in the whole book ended up being, like, stabbed and murdered and probably died in a pretty horrific way. Um, you don't see any of that, but you start thinking in your head, like, oh my god, that's awful. That's heartbreaking that that's how that happened. Um, and one of the hardest things in the book was like not knowing did she ever see that last text. And he actually goes over to her house and asks the mother for her phone and you can see that that text was open and read. And so, oh, what a, what a moment. And then, because what he wanted to tell her while they were texting and talking was that he wanted to be a person like she was. He was hoping that now that he was starting to see change, he wanted to be someone like her. And then you find out in her diary, what she couldn't tell him was that she wanted to be somebody like him. And that was just a moment that was like, it's so crazy. You know, different experiences and different life events um, just goes to show you that two different views of what something can and can't be was, was really interesting. Um, and so the book was really touching. You go into the book, you think that the book isn't going to affect you very much because you're like, oh, well, she's going to die anyway. So it's coming, you can see it coming, you can kind of get ready for it. Um, and you think it's building up to that. She gets sick, she goes in the hospital, then she gets pushed back. Um, she's in the hospital even longer. Uh, but then she gets out. And you're like, oh, okay, so we're going to have some stuff with her outside the hospital again. Bam. Like, out of nowhere, you're like, well, why is she responding? She was murdered. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So I really enjoyed the book. Um, like I said, I don't know if the book would have been, the book would have been impactful without that, but with that twist, it really added a big layer to the book, and I just thought it was really, really good. Um, so I would recommend this if you guys want to read it. It was just, it was hard to talk about, because if you spoil that part of the book, I feel like it doesn't ruin it, but it might take away a little bit from when it happens. Like, if you still want to read this book and haven't read it yet and got spoiled, um, I still recommend reading it because I can't explain all of the different just tonal changes that happen throughout the book that are really special um, and that should still be um, experienced. So anyway guys, thanks for holding on. That's not words. That's not English at all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about it. If you've read this, tell me what you thought because um, I think it would be interesting. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you back in the prowl next time.